Hi, boys and girls. Good morning. Welcome to day two of our winter themed week. Yesterday, you learned about the word algorithm and you completed an algorithm activity in Seesaw. And hopefully, you learned that the word algorithm means a list of steps that you follow to complete something. So now that you've learned the word algorithm, we are going to do a winter themed activity today where you are going to use an algorithm to design a winter scene on your iPad. I'm going to be giving you a list of directions to follow to complete and create a winter scene using an app on your iPad called Drawing Pad. So I am going to switch over to my iPad to show you how to create today's winter scene. Okay, now on your iPad, you are going to look for the app called Drawing Pad. We've used it before, it's been a while. Back around Halloween time, we did some pumpkin face drawings in Drawing Pad. The app looks like this. <clears throat> so this is the one we want. And I'm going to open it up. And to draw your winter scene today, you are going to follow my directions. So I don't want you today to just draw your own picture because part of learning about coding and algorithms is following a specific set of directions. So when you are done, your winter scene should look exactly like mine if you are following the steps. <clears throat> so I'm going to start by pressing new, the green choice right here okay <laughs> and the first thing we're going to do is add a background to our winter scene so if you look in your tool drawer you'll see this choice here that looks like sheets of paper see those that's how I'm going to add a background so I'm going to tap that and I'm going to select the blue background. So I'm just going to tap this blue piece of paper. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to get ready for my next step. All right, now for the next step, I'm going to add the snow on the ground to my winter scene. So I'm going to switch over to the purple paintbrush and I'm going to select the thick white paintbrush and I'm just going to tap to close the tool drawer and I'm just going to use my finger and make the snow on the ground and see how I'm just using my finger to paint it in. Okay, and that is step two. So we've already completed two steps. We did the blue background and we did the white snow on the ground. Now the next step is to add a snowman to our winter scene. So I'm going to open my tool drawer again and I'm going to tap back on the house. And this time I'm going to use the marker. So I'm going to tap that green marker and I'm going to choose the white marker for my snowman. And you know what shape a snowman is, right? Usually they have like three round snowballs, one for the head, one for the body. And I'm just using my finger to draw the snowman. And then one more on the bottom to be the base. Okay, now that's not a very exciting snowman. He needs some details. So now I'm going to switch over to the black marker and I'm going to give him eyes and a mouth and maybe some buttons. And I'm going to switch to the orange to give him a carrot nose 
and I think I'll switch to the brown marker and give him two arms. Arms and hands. All right, and that is step three. Creating the snowman was step three, and now that step is done. So now I'm going to go back to the house. Step four is using the stickers tool. So these are the stickers right here. And I'm going to scroll down in the stickers. I'm going to add a deer to my winter scene. So see the deer right there? There he is. I'm going to tap the deer. I'm going to put him in my scene somewhere. I think I want him over on this side. So I'm just going to move him over there and make him maybe a little bit bigger. And when I like the way he looks, see that stamper right there? That will kind of stamp him on the page. I'm going to stamp him. And then I'm going to add the bunny to this side, but I'm going to shrink him down to make him a better size. That one's too small. Oops. And I'm going to stamp him. And then the last thing I'm going to do with the stickers is add some snowflake stickers. So I scroll down here. See all these cool snowflakes? I'm just going to add some snowflakes to the sky. And you can do as many snowflakes as you want. I'm going to kind of fill up the sky a little bit with snowflakes. It's like it's snowing out. Over there. And I'm just going to tap these and stamp them so they are stamped on my page. And there is my winter scene. My winter scene is done. Now I'm going to show you what you can do so that you can send it to me in Seesaw. Okay, to share your winter scene with me in Seesaw so that I can see it, you're going to go up to the house inside your tool drawer. Oh, I was already there, so I'm just going to say continue. If that happens on yours, just always say continue. And I'm going to go here to the button that has like the square with the arrow coming out of it. That means you're going to share it or send it. And there should be an option right here to save it right to Seesaw. Or you can save image right there. And then if I go out and go into my photos, it saved it there. And if I tap on it, you can send it right there to me in Seesaw. So if I go now to my Seesaw, make sure you're in your technology, and then find your name, find sample student, and send it to me. If, you, if you're in your regular class, if you look down here at the bottom, it says, not in technology to Boofy. You can change your class down there at the bottom and find the right class. So maybe I'm in Mrs. Eliopoulos' class, so I'm going to change it and select my name. Okay? But you could do that right from drawing pad too. You don't have to do it in photos. All right, boys and girls, have fun creating your winter scene. I hope you were able to follow all the steps. If you get stuck, you can always stop on Drawing Pad and go back to the video in Seesaw and watch the steps again to help you remember how to create your winter scene.
just do the best you can, okay? And have fun, and I will see you back tomorrow for our third day of winter activities. Have a great day.